Item number SCP-6646, Security Level 3, Containment Class Euclid, Disruption Class, Concern. Special Containment Procedures. The area in which SCP-6646 manifests, designated Zone 6646-0, has been classified as a restricted U.S. military operating zone to discourage civilian investigation. Foundation operatives identifying as members of the United States Armed Forces are to remain in Zone 6646-0 during SCP-6646's active months and perform continuous radio surveillance of both the zone proper and surrounding areas. Any confirmed SCP-6646 broadcasts must be intercepted and prevented from reaching civilian receivers. Civilian personnel residing in areas within a 15-mile radius of Zone 6646-0 must be regularly screened by Foundation medical staff. Suspected exposure to SCP-6646 is cause for immediate termination. Description SCP-6646 designates a series of anomalous radio broadcasts originating from a now-abandoned town of Wilkins, West Virginia. Reclassified Zone 6646-0 following the initiation of Foundation containment efforts. When broadcast, SCP-6646 will override all AM and FM radio stations in its effective radius, forcing any individual utilizing a radio receiver to listen to its content. SCP-6646 seems to possess knowledge of the number of individuals within its effective radius, utilizing a radio device at any given time and will deliberately initiate broadcasts during such periods where radio usage is higher than normal. The exact source of SCP-6646 is unknown. Though attempts to trace the broadcasts invariably result in investigative efforts terminating within Zone 6646-0, despite the limited extent of its range, Knowledge of SCP-6646 or similar anomalies appears to be widespread throughout the United States. The content of SCP-6646 varies slightly during each broadcast, but typically takes the form of an emergency active system EAS notice issued by the United States government. Warnings are often highly alarming in their nature, ranging from an imminent nuclear attack by a foreign power to alleged attacks from redacted and other anomalous beings. Warnings become more apparent as the broadcast progresses, culminating in a self-described black warning. The anomalous properties of exposure to SCP-6646 do not manifest until the black warning is issued. Regardless of the nature of the black warning, any individuals listening to the broadcast at the time will exhibit extreme levels of fear and anxiety, barricading their homes or otherwise isolating themselves from the public. Subjects will refuse to leave or interact with any outside personnel until an all clear is issued. But SCP-6646 never issues such a message. Other all clear messages, regardless of origin, will be disregarded or treated as hoaxes. The exact time required for affected subjects to expire depends on the availability of food and water within their home, but is typically between two to five weeks. Addendum Transcription of SCP-6646 Black Warning The following is a transcription of a black warning issued by SCP-6646 on Beep 1999. This is an emergency action notice issued by the United States Department of Defense in association with the Federal Emergency Management Agency. The following warning has been designated Black Eye Priority. Please listen closely. Your cooperation is essential to your survival. If you are currently outside, you are in immediate danger. You are being watched. Cease your current activity and return home as quickly as possible. Disregard all attempts made to stop you or otherwise prevent you from reaching your home. Disregard all law enforcement personnel. Disregard all claims alleged to have originated from government agencies. Disregard all emergency messages excluding this message. You are currently being watched. Upon arrival at your home, seal all doors and windows. Move all family members into the basement of your home and seal the entrance. If you do not have a basement, enter the bathroom and make the door inaccessible. 
Ensure all firearms, if you possess firearms, are readily accessible. Ensure all firearms are loaded. Ensure all other weapons and self-defense tools are within reach. Do not breathe. Remain absolutely quiet at all times. Do not breathe. If a family member begins to breathe, kill them as quickly as possible. Dispose of the body as soon as you feel that the area is safe. Do not stop listening to this broadcast. Do not breathe. 30 seconds of silence. There is a 1999 Toyota Corolla parked approximately 3 miles to the north. It is located roughly 13 minutes from the nearest residence. This vehicle is situated in an open clearing immediately prior to the entrance to the woods. This vehicle was occupied by an adult male driver, an adult female, and two male children. This vehicle traveled from Bakersfield, roughly 39 minutes to the north of Wilkins, and arrived this clearing at approximately 6.32 p.m. Eastern Standard Time today. Upon arrival, the driver of the vehicle exited the vehicle, walked into the forest, and remained unseen for the next three hours. The passengers remained in the vehicle for the entirety of this period. When the driver returned from the forest, he was broken. The passengers immediately fled the vehicle and moved further into the clearing. Visibility was minimal due to the setting of the sun, and natural fog had had accumulated in the area. The youngest male child, approximately nine years of age, seemed to trip on his shoelaces. He fell to the ground and sustained a concussion upon impact. Do not stop listening to this podcast. Do not breathe. Disregard the offense that occurred to this child. Do not contemplate what happened to this child. Do not speculate as to what transpired following this child's fall. The remaining survivors did see guarded attempts to call for assistance and fled further into the field. By this time, visibility was effectively zero. The driver was broken. They did not listen to the driver. The driver could not be fixed. Look behind you. Do not breathe. Ensure you are alone. The driver began to melt into the earth. The odor of this was carried forward by the wind. The passengers disregarded his screaming. The passengers disregarded his laughing. The liquid that was once been the driver seeped forward in pursuit. They did not see it until it reached them. The child's eyes melted into his teeth, and then his skin melted into the bone. Then his bones fused. Then they decided to keep him alive for as long as they wanted him alive. Disregard. Do not breathe. We have obtained an audio recording of the remaining survivor of this 1999 Toyota Corolla. Playing audio file. Do not breathe. Please, please, someone, if anyone is out there, I'm alone. I'm somewhere near Wilkins, the woods near Wilkins. Please, God, please help me. I don't know. Please. My name is Samantha Rogers. Please help me. I don't know where I am. I can't feel my face. It took my face. Talking hurts. Please, someone help me. Oh my god, oh my god. It took my face. Oh my god, oh my god. God, help, help. Rubber footsteps, consistent with sprinting, come louder. Please, let me go. Please, it hurts. Oh my god. Footsteps become louder. Help! Help! Ah! It is time for you to breathe. Do not stop breathing. By breathing, they will know where you are. You must be prepared to encounter the threat. Breathe slowly and calmly. Disregard all requests made by family members. Disregard all statements made by family members. In the presence of unidentified liquid or the sudden appearance of a puddle underneath the door, Immediately execute all individuals in close proximity, then commit suicide. In the presence of rapidly approaching footsteps or unexplained vocalizations within a distance of three feet or less, enter the fetal position with your head in your arms and wait for the threat to pass. Do not engage the threat unless all other options have been exhausted. Do not stop breathing. Silence for 30 seconds. Mm. Mm.
They have made a nest. They are beneath you. Do you feel them? They are burrowing. Stay down. Stay as close to the ground as you can. Feed the ground. Feed the ground. Stay as close to the ground as you can. Feed the ground. Feed the ground. Stay as close to the ground as you can. Feed the ground. Feed the ground. Stay as close to the ground as you can. Feed the ground. It is preferred that you be partially condensed and digested prior to intake for ease of transfer. Feed the ground. Stay as close to the ground as you can. Do not stop breathing. Feed the ground. Feed the ground. Silence for three minutes. Followed by unidentified screaming and sound consistent with flesh being torn. An unknown entity is heard chewing and swallowing. Someone else has fed the ground this time. Please wait your turn calmly and quietly. This has been an emergency action notice issued by the United States Department of Defense in association with the Federal Emergency Management Agency. This broadcast will repeat every 15 minutes.